typically below about 50 meters, definitely below 70 meters. The conditions uh, don't change very much with depth. They're like constant actually throughout the year. And um, that's mostly where we capture our animals from. Everything feeds on copepods. We're going to put them into water that is, it was collected where they live. So exactly water that they, we know they like and we know that they survive in. And that's your best way of keeping animals alive in the lab. Everything feeds on copepods. The fish feed on them, the whales feed on them, the birds love them. And so they're incredibly important in the Arctic food web. And we're going to get copepods, we're going to get different types of copepods, we're going to get arrow worms. It's beautiful. They're like little oil droplets, full of energy, and they're fed on by all these bigger animals. And without them, the whole ecosystem would collapse. Anything you can do that's gonna alleviate their stress is a good thing. For example, also removing the jellyfish, which would definitely alleviate their stress of a predator. That's it, we're good, we can finish now. Yeah, we're done, thanks. We know that the Arctic is changing and that these species are actually moving because of this change. The Arctic is getting warmer, it's getting more ice free. And so species which historically were further south are moving northwards. And they're moving into an environment which is completely different. They are going to be exposed to permanent light during the summer and permanent darkness during the winter. And we don't know how this is going to affect their life cycle. We put them into tanks which are light tight and we give them these different day lengths which is supposed to represent the future changing Arctic Ocean. They cannot see red lights, we use red light if we want to observe them or film them at night. So the light dark cycle is incredibly important to these copepods because it influences how they migrate in the water column. And this in turn influences how carbon is moved from the surface down into the deep ocean. But we also know that they have a circadian biological clock, much like you and I have. And this clock is influenced by the day-night cycle. The ultimate aim of Chase is to understand how this future change in light-dark cycle as these organisms move north will influence their biological clock and ultimately their survival in the Arctic Ocean.